Hi guys, this is Darwin at Monoscopio and uh, I want to show you something about the replay module. And now with the new video replay 2, we have the possibility to use um, a lot more of them. As you can see, I've set up four replays here for all taking my uh, main camera. I have uh, four camera modules set up. I only have one USB, so we use this one. Uh, the main problem with uh, using the replay module, and especially when using many, is uh, how to queue up uh, and know exactly when to bring it on air. Um, so I came up with a little something using the API here. Um, well, as you can see here, I can connect this to local host here. Uh, just to connect port, connect. As you can see, it connects to the TCP server. Uh, this is only available in the broadcast version. Uh, what I made is uh, a small um, highlight marking system. In the pre-roll here, I can set how many seconds before the actual event I want the replay to start. And I want about two seconds uh, uh, before the... Um, we use this for soccer, so if there is a goal, I want two minutes, uh, two seconds of video before the ball goes into the goal. And I also add an extra second here for my... Uh, reaction time. Uh, I can now switch between cameras here but I only have one camera connected so cam one and the four replays as I said are all connected to this camera one. Uh, you can see that I have set no delay on the timeline for each replay because this is all, all done in the um, uh, software. Uh, I have a timer here that shows uh, when I click hit, it will uh, create a mark that this is the event I want to replay. And this counter will then um, start to count down to let you know uh, how long you have left before the uh, event goes out of the memory buffer. So if we just try this one here, I can. Uh, can do a little wave here. And I click hit because I want to replay just that event. And you can see the counter going down. And the beauty of it is that the system now knows where this uh, event is. So if I click uh, replay one here, it will actually go to just that point where I made the wave. And I can use it on any replay channel that I want, and it will always go to the exact correct point. I can now uh, see that the event is out of the memory, so um, I cannot use it anymore. I'll just go back to camera one here. So. Um, but that's the main, uh, main, uh, main principle of what you can do with the API, and to um, always have your replays come in at the exact rate, right time. I can do uh, another example, make a wave. Click it, I can see it going, and I can use any of them, and I will always know that it's right on time. Replay 4, replay 1, I can actually go back and do replay 4 one more time, and it will be at the correct spot. Thank you for watching.